Today we are going to be talking about the accoutrements, Sparkzilla wind-up and spark toys. Released in 1994, or so it is said, as some of these date all the way back to the 1970s, accoutrements wind-up and spark Sparkzilla was apparently based on the King Kong vs. Godzilla Godzilla design. These are also my third and fourth Godzilla figures that I ever owned as a kid, so I do have some nostalgia for these little goblins. I couldn't find much on the accoutrements line, just that they were responsible for many wind-up toys, including the creature from the Black Lagoon and the famed and oh-so-lovable Nunzilla. I do have to give them credit for this box art, though, because this is just fantastic. Like, damn, did they kill it. This particular design was also released as Spark Dino, which I do believe is also by Accoutrements. I'm not really sure if that was a re-release or if Sparkzilla was a re-release. There really isn't too much info floating about that I can find. So when it comes to the who's, what's, where's, how's, and when's, I really don't know. But all things seem to point right on back to Accoutrements. Now to call these things fairly basic and rather ugly would be... Hitting the nail on the head, essentially. Now I wouldn't really call these things ugly. They are based off of the 62 Goji design. It's just more so of these paint jobs that they have. They're very, very interesting. Take this lad over here. He's got a dark foresty green with a lot of red thrown in him be it on the lips or mouth or the fingernails over here there's a lot of red present over here and he's got those dark showless eyes kind of like a doe's eyes oh black and lifeless but the green is nice the yellow is questionable the teeth are somewhat questionable at the same time <laughs> but the detail on these things for being tiny little bootlegs it's genuinely pretty good surprising yes cheapish yes but surprising nonetheless though i will say i do favor this one over the darker variant. This one has a little bit more of a yellowish green tinge to them, as well as more of an orange than red. Although it is a little bit on the imbalanced side, because there's red on the top jaw, but not so much on the bottom jaw. Still going to have the red fingernails, though. And the uneven paint applications, honestly, are just hilarious. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Granted, I don't know how much these things went for at release in 1994, but genuinely, it really couldn't have been all that much, right? Keep them away from Tamashi Nations. They'll only just re-release them, never change anything, and overcharge the Christ out of them. Mm. Somebody's sure to laugh at that. Most will probably cringe and tell me to stop. I'll never stop. So when it comes to paint and detail, detail's going to get a solid star. Paint, honestly, yeah, it's weird, it's different, it's uneven as sin, but something about these, I don't know. I'd give them a solid star because they're just so weird, so different. And, you know, I gotta give them credit. These things are from 1994 and the paint really hasn't started to fade. It did get a little weak over here because this guy clearly got some chips on his head, but this other one, this looks exactly the same as it did when I first got it. Huh. And now it is time. To wind this up and watch it walk and spark at the mouth. Which is why this thing is called Sparkzilla. They spark at the mouth. At least they used to. Three, two, one, go! Hmm. Yay! It's walking. It's really walking. You keep going, buddy. Follow your dreams. Okay, I'm done. Well, I'm not fully done. Yeah, as you can see, there's a little thingy going on in there, and that would essentially allow the sparks to fly out of the mouth. And it was quite the sight as a kid, but nowadays, yeah, no sparks going, unfortunately. Uh-huh. Yes. I will destroy them all. Yeah, just to get a better look in there, you can see that thingy right there. It would hit that little cog mechanism in there and the sparks would come out, but I think these things have long worn out and it, they, they, they just don't spark anymore. Maybe there's a way to bring that back. I don't know. If anybody knows, let me know. Now let's just wind up this one and go. Oh yeah, he walking, right? 
Yeah. Premium content. Aren't you glad you clicked on this? I'm sorry if I'm talking really loud, but these things are really friggin' noisy. Things got older, out of date, inner workings than the US government. <laughs> they see me rolling. They see me. No, they. They see me rolling, and they hate him. They trying to catch me winding up Godzilla bootleg toys dirty. Trying to catch me winding dirty. Trying to catch me winding dirty. Friends, neighbors, wait. I have discovered Spock. Oh. 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 Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing this. I don't want to create a fire or nothing. But they still do spark. So when it comes to the wind up and walk gimmick, they still work perfectly fine, so I'll give them a solid star in that. And unfortunately, the sparking really doesn't work anymore, and in order to make it work, you kind of have to wind it forward, which would only probably ruin these a little bit more. But I'm going to give the sparking feature a half a star, since you kind of have to endanger the mechanics on the inside in order to get it fully working. So three solid stars and a half a star. Not bad for two bootleg toys, huh? Honestly, these things aren't going to be for everybody. I know every fandom has that one sect in there where people just really enjoy bootlegs of official products. If you're one of those people, you might love these. Or you just think they look like mutant chickens like I do. But I still love them. Hmm. Patrons, thank you so much for coming to Shinrob Jira. Patrons, I absolutely appreciate it. If you would like to become a patron or just check out my social media and my merch pages, all that will be linked in the description below. Check out the Hobby Link Japan Shinrob Jira affiliate link in there if you want to do some more last minute holiday shopping. And whence next we meet, I will finally be talking about these lovely lads. It's been a long time coming. Thank you, Space Tree Studios. I'm finally doing it, Will!